Welcome to Red Dead 2. Today, we are remembering the late Lenny Summers, who unfortunately came to a tragic end after a bank robbery gone bad. He was trying to make an escape. It didn't work out. He ran into some Pinkerton agents. Mr. Morgan tried to save him, tried to revive him, but it was unfortunate that Lenny was passed away. And the question is, would we see him again? Later, while playing as Mr. Morgan and wandered around somewhere north of Saint-Denis, it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but just, just north of Saint-Denis, I came across uh, something a little suspicious. A couple of gravestones. Here, I am wandering south, and to my right, by this big tree, are the two gravestones uh, that I was referring to. And upon closer examination... When we look at these, when we look at the name, we notice that the name on the right is Mr. Lenny Summers. And, of course, the name on the left is that of Hosea Matthews. Both, unfortunately, passed away tragically in that bank robbery attempt at the Lemoyne National Bank. They thought they had a good plan in place, but it uh, didn't quite work out that way. This is definitely something worth checking out, just north of Saint-Denis. Lenny was this character that did all the grunt work. That's why it should come as no surprise that when Arthur was faced with a choice and he needed one person to help him, he chose Lenny. Well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. One of the reasons that Arthur had so much confidence in Lenny had to do with a botched train robbery of Leviticus Cornwell, where the dynamite doesn't go off, and a bunch of guys are forced to chase the train and jump onto it. Who are the only two characters who actually make it? Well, you guessed it. Arthur and Lenny. Javier didn't uh, didn't quite hang on there. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Arthur. Yes, you go. Okay. Look at this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry, and there's talk of hanging them. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No good drama. Can we get a couple of beers, please? <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy... Oh, either you fools got any money? It's ten dollars and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either you around here no more. Yep, that was Lenny Summers bailing out Arthur Morgan. So, that was a quiet drink. I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think they war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. 
Just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. What Mr. Morgan liked most about Lenny were two things. Number one, Lenny always seemed to have good intel. Number two, Lenny was not afraid to fight. Unfortunately, the gang pushed Lenny's luck a little too far. I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Goodbye, Lenny. The gang will miss you. <laughs>